So when I came to finishing my GCSEs A levels at school, um, it was kind of the norm to go to uni. Uh, I wasn't really that academic, but I knew I didn't want a nine to five office job. You sort of think, well, what other things can I do? Is there another avenue? Do I have to take a career path that I chose years ago when I picked my A levels? I realised that I wanted to do something myself. I wanted to use my own initiative, my own creativity. So my business is a mobile coffee business. Uh, I sell a variety of hot drinks out the back of a smart car. So I actually started my business by accident. I had signed up to do a textiles degree and the first piece of artwork that I made, we took it into a gallery to be framed and the owner asked if he could have more of my artwork for his gallery and that's how my business began. Uh, we started the business uh, essentially because we loved creating and designing websites. We realised that there was a, a gap in the market for someone creating bilingual websites mm. and that's kind of where we've planted our flag at the moment. I was um, a stay-at-home mum for 17 years, started studying, loved it, absolutely loved it and it was actually my assignments um, that made me start Giggles so I researched it and then we had Dragon's Den. The dragon said to me why, why wasn't I doing it so I started. I actually set the um the business up just before we had a business module in university and I said I've already got one, I've just started one, can I use that for my module? And he said absolutely. With the entrepreneur mindset you have to move beyond limitation, you have to work around things, you will have challenges, you have to kind of keep going regardless of those challenges, all the things like the determination, the tenacity, you know, the, the problem solving, they're all, they're all really useful skills that could benefit all students, you know, not just people who perhaps want to go on and start their own business. And this is the main reason why I'm going back. It's not for the qualification as such, it's for the skills I'll learn. Ever since I started uni at the start of first year, the, the idea was simply an idea, just a concept. And now for me to be at the end of second year and it come to fruition, that wouldn't have been able to be done by myself. Cardiff University has helped me out massively. There were lecturers and professors there when I needed advice on any specific markets. I could literally just send an email out to any lecturer or professor and they'll be there, more than happy to have a meeting with me. Much Modes was founded in 2017. Uh, they were formed to take part in the Transfuso competition, uh, which is funded by the UK Games Fund. How the competition works is that uh, different universities will apply to be hubs, meaning that we had like business and mental support throughout uh, through the university. My university were really, really supportive, particularly the uh, Centre for Entrepreneurship on my campus. So I got a lot of one-to-one, -one, but also more general workshop advice and help from them. They've given us access to business mentors, they've given us access to people to help with graphic design, uh, they've even given us access to people in the psychology department, so our pitches are really, really good and they, they have an impact. We've got a great business um, department up at the university here called Abapreneurs. They offer loads of advice on signposting where to go for finance, how to set up your business correctly. The entrepreneurship officer at the university, she's been there for me on hand whenever I've needed her to talk me through specifically like legal advice, marketing advice, things like that. They gave me confidence uh, when I didn't have a lot of confidence in myself and they kind of encouraged me to apply for different awards and that's actually how I won the Santander University's Entrepreneurship Award. The whole idea has kind of been kick-started from attending Big Ideas Well Celebrated so it was a really big showcase event for young entrepreneurs in Wales and I actually won the Future Entrepreneur Award and the Social Impact Award and from that it's kind of given me the confidence to take True Sparks out into the big, big wide world and so it's really fast-tracked that one competition. It's been amazing. So I've received quite a lot of support from the Welsh Government I'm on the Accelerated Growth Programme um, and with that I get lots of free work packages and advice and things like that which have been incredibly helpful. Big Ideas Wales, they, um, um, I did some competitions, got some funding through them and I also got funding from a seed fund initiative. The money which came with that again just makes a huge difference to small businesses. With Move 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 we've got it to the point where it's in testing on the PC platforms. Uh, so it's great to actually have got the game that far and we couldn't have done that without the support of uh, mentors and help from the universities and the government. 
There's a lot to be said for the amount that the Welsh Government is doing to support entrepreneurs in general. So one thing which actually has surprised me a lot is that there is actually a lot of support out there. Uh, some of it I just haven't been entirely like aware of it. And I think now uh, there's sort of a growing focus on young women um, and young women in business not having enough confidence to kind of scale um, and go for investment and things like that and, and that's something I'm quite passionate about. I think we could have really benefited in a lot of ways of um, having like that kind of engagement with other people who've also tried to solve the same problems that we're trying to solve in running a business. I think there just needs to be more one-to-one -one support and, and more mentors and more people who have been through that journey that are willing to just sit down for a coffee and answer those questions that you might have. Because sometimes I feel if you're speaking to someone who's already done it three, four years before you, it really does kind of give you a harder hitting message and you'll be able to understand stuff more. I really just want to help people who were once like me three years ago. I want to help them build their businesses and um, give them advice.